Hi guys, it's Monday evening. It's got to be gone 11. Oh, it's actually gone midnight. Five past midnight. Uh, shut up. Uh, I've had a productive day again. And... I've got something I want to show you over there, get my hand on the camera, because um, we went to those, uh, that Buxton Village Yard sale, yeah, it was a bit of a bust, I got, I think I picked up, what was it, one, two, three, four items, uh, so yeah, but most of it was just, I could have bought a lot more, but as at least three reasons I didn't. One, I didn't have the cash. <laughs> Two, I didn't need it. I would have just bought it because I wanted it. <laughs> and four, I wouldn't have had the room for anything like that anyway. No. I've got four CRT TVs as it is. I don't think I need a fifth. <laughs> or a sixth, because I could have picked two up. Yeah. <laughs> um, same, there's plenty of bikes there I could have picked up as well, but again, I don't need them. So, um... But it was still fun. The weather held, at least. It was overcast, but it wasn't cold. But it took us three hours to get round the whole lot. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go over here. Oh, I've also fixed a couple of things as well. So, I picked up this thing for a pound. And it is, apart from it's blue, it's exactly the same as these two that are in dark green. Exactly, this, that's why I picked it up, because that would stand nicely on top of that. And I'm hoping I can get that that thing on top of the blue one or put a couple of holes and screw put a couple of screws in the wall I should say and hang that thing up on the wall maybe um, then I picked up this now this has got an issue and uh, I want to ask for a little bit of help if I can just find my power cable right I'm gonna stick you on here just for a minute because I need two hands Now, it's a Panasonic GX30. I have no idea what the date of manufacture of this thing is. But I'm guessing, looking at the um, style, it's possibly 70s, maybe 80s. Anyway. It does work-ish. Um, oh, sorry about that. I'm zooming in. There we go. It's a three band radio, it's got FM, LW and MW. LW and MW, you no know, long wave, medium wave, they work. See? Even a slide switch works without any hissing or crackling, which is... You can see, I'm on LW. And you hear the tuning and everything works, right? LW. You can even pick up some classical there. With the antenna down. Right, if I go back to FM, this is all I get. Nothing. You can see me tuning it. And just to prove it's not because the aerial is down, I extend the antenna. Uh, there's still there's no. No, there's no change in the hiss tone or anything. Just white noise. So, uh, if anyone knows what the likely issue is with this, please let me know, because I would like to fix it. 
Now, what was the other thing? Oh, I picked up that cycle computer there as well for a quid. One little pound. I've got plenty of cycle computers, but I don't have. I think there's only two I've got that I've got the actual manuals for. And you need them because you need to set your wheel size. Some of them you set your wheel size, you know, like you'll put in a code for a um, certain wheel size. This one I've got to actually measure the wheel circumference and put that in. Um, and obviously without the paperwork, I can't use the other ones because I don't know how to set them up. But anyway. Oh, the other thing is in the bedroom, so I'll show you that in a bit. Because I've been busy in there as well. This one had a playback issue with tapes. Radio worked fine. The switch there is a bit dodgy, but I fixed all that. Sprayed that with some WD-40 and the two knobs there with WD-40. And it seems to have cleaned them up. There's no crackle now. So, but there was a playback issue with this, which I have fixed. Um, it was sort of, sometimes it would play fine, other times it would just slow right down and be like this, you know. Um, so I took the back off and I thought it might have been the belt was a bit loose, you know. Um, but it wasn't, the belt was actually fine. What it was, there's a black pulley over here on this side of the tape deck, behind everything here obviously. That was actually sticking, the mechanism was sticking, so a bit of WD-40 on there. You know, flick between the fast forward and the rewind and put a tape in there. It works. I will need to grease it properly though. Because obviously WD-40 dries up, so it will only be a temporary fix. But, uh, yeah. The JVC is actually working fine now. Then I've got this stuff. I can't remember, I think I paid a pound for this. So it was either a pound or two pound for this one at a car boot sale a year or so, a couple of years ago now. The tape deck never worked on it. Um, where's the eject button? You've got your little spindles there that drives your tape, you know. Locks into here and spins your tape. It would spin fine like this, but as soon as I put tape in, it would stop. So I took that apart, and the problem was this, it was stretched. So obviously it would just, you know, not drive when um, it had a tape in it. It doesn't actually feel that good either, look. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, no good. So, what did I use as a fix? Now, if this was being fixed for a customer, or it wasn't just a generic cheapy brand because it's a Matsui I wouldn't have done this I'd have gotten a proper belt but uh, I used one of these a blue one just like this one same as this one that's all I used stuck that around the drive mechanism put it all or tested it and it worked <laughs> so I put it all back together um, some of these slide switches are still a little bit crackly but they're not too bad because the problem is with a lot of these dials and things, dirt gets in them over the years and they just get all crackly. So I think tomorrow I may take the tape deck apart here because that's got rewind issues. It doesn't want to rewind. It's not really that much of a problem. I mean, I can just stick the tape in and fast forward it. But uh, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll take that apart tomorrow and have a look. But again, I've got that tape deck there as well so it's not that important that I do that but uh, I have been busy in the other bedroom busy 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 Ta -da! got the side panel on got the shelf in and I've got everything wired up look at that and yes the cable has changed colour it's now this sort of grey coloured one I did have to go and buy some clips because they were cheaper at the end in yeah. the cable clips like that were cheaper than these sticky back ones so I just grabbed a couple of bags of them I've so got two going down there but uh, the Windows 98 is not picking up the um, 
ethernet and I, I'm not sure if it's this is too old to connect via the ethernet or what it is but the Windows 95 won't either but I'm guessing the ethernet might have been put on there for networking you know like printer networking or something same as that one so I've still got it connected because you know, if I ever want to mess around on a network or something, or network them, I can. Um, but I think with the Windows 98, I don't think they installed the um, Ethernet drivers which are on the CD. So, I might turn that on in a little while and just uh, try that. Just to make sure... I've got to remember <laughs> if I put the um, I'm pretty certain I did the um, USB flash drive drivers on a disc as well for Windows 98 I think they're on a disc under there I'm pretty certain I put it to a disc oh yes I forgot I will show you that didn't I don't know if they work but I found some white speakers <laughs> Fujitsu brand, so I thought, yay! Unfortunately, ow. <laughs> that actually hurt. <laughs> I'm sucking on an antacid because I've got a bit of heartburn and it got stuck, it actually got wedged in here. But yeah, don't know if they work. But I wanted to put one on there and one down here, but the cable between them isn't long enough. Um, I really do hate this KVM switch. I mean, look at it. It's so awkward. You've got to have it where you can reach it because you've got to press the button to switch between, you know, all four. Um, I'm just glad I'm going to be changing that. I need a six-way, but from what I've found, they don't do them. It's either a 4, 8, or a 16. A 16 is far too big and far too bloody expensive. And uh, actually I found, I'm pretty certain it was a 16 way and it was set over 700 quid. I was like, eh, no. <laughs> but if I want to get a brand new one, I think the cheapest 8 way I can find is around about £30. I found one where the starting bid is a five is £5 because it's coming out of an office. An office that's just gone bust, according to the article. There's a bid on it. There's only three days left, um, but maybe if I can uh, shift um, a bike between now and then, I could put a bid in and get it. I think this would have been better if they had all four um, sockets on one side instead of like that, because that just takes up twice as much room, which makes it really awkward to have on a desk like that because like I said you need to be able to access it because you've got to press your switch button on your switch button on the front sorry I wasn't looking at the screen so I didn't realize I need to get a mouse as well I did have one on there but the rollerball is shit so I'm going to try another one but uh, yeah it all works and lights up the reason I took the blue cable out I had in and put this one in is because this one's got the locks you know, the little latch that holds the um, cables in. The blue one, it broken off. So, uh, but I thought I'll take the liberty of uh, putting the cables as tight as I can. I'm not happy with these two. I've actually got a third one to go in to go down to this one. Um, if I can find one long enough. <laughs> actually, I've got one long enough. I've just got to pull it out. It's down there under the bed. Uh, yeah, I'm getting there with my setup, but uh, once I've got the one in for the Sony Vio, I'll have one more port left, which would be for the Windows 2000. But I thought, I don't know, if I want to play around, I could. I mean, if I needed to plug in a laptop or something into the Ethernet, I could just pull it out of the back of the um, Viglan here and use that. 
In fact, I probably will just leave the one in the back of the Vigil and just laying over here. So if I am playing with one of my old laptops, I can just plug it in and use the internet. Bloody funny. <laughs> I want to use Windows 95 on the internet, but I can't. It won't let me. So yeah, I have been a busy chappy. I'll sit on this chair. <clears throat> I've just got to find something to put on that shelf now. Mind you, I've got plenty of radios in the other room. I could sl stack those on there. But don't that look a lot tidier with that board on it? I've also decided, because this is all made from different coloured bits of wood, I'm going to get some black spray paint and do what I did with the shelves in the lounge and spray everything black so it all matches. I know I'm going to have a lot of black in the flat, but it's a colour that will cover any other colour, so... You know, because I've got this, which is an odd colour, and I've got that, as an odd colour. It will mean that I would actually have to take everything off of here, but... Oh well. I'm only going to spray the parts that we can see, of course. So basically that, 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 that leg, that leg. Perhaps that back panel there. That panel, and that panel. And I, was, I did say the top bit, didn't I? Yeah. There's no point doing the bits that can't really be seen, like the back side of that end panel, the side that's facing the wall. <laughs> be totally pointless, but uh, that can be for another day. But I think that would actually make this whole corner look a lot better. I could do with something on here, really, can I? Like a bit of trim, just so you don't see that join. Eh, I'm not that fussed. Be nice if I could find something to put on there though. <sighs> if I get a bigger KVM switch, it might have to go on there. Oh yeah, put that light up there. Don't really need it, but it's up there more for decoration than anything else, just like that one. But there's no power going to it yet. But as I was saying, if I get an 8-way KVM switch, it's gonna have to go up on the shelf, so. I'll just stand those lights on top of the KVM switch. <laughs> There's no vents on top of them, so... Because I don't carry no high voltage or anything. It's literally just a device, you know. You plug in your main keyboard and mouse there on this one. And then you just plug in your four computers there. And there's no order. You know, everything is colour-coded. As in your keyboard and mouse, you know, purple to purple, green to green. So. Mum said it was too complicated, but I said, well, it's all colour-coded, you know, it's not actually that complicated. And there's no right or wrong order for these computers, it's just whichever one you want on, you know, A, B, C or D, as that is labelled. So, you just pick whichever computer you want on A, you plug into A. Whichever one you want on B, you plug into B. Simple. <laughs> uh, actually, speaking of simple, because I... I was talking to a friend and said I'd fix those radios. To me, fixing such things is simple. But, well, to me it's simple and I've always said, you know, anyone could learn. But I have to stop and remember, not everyone would be, what's the word, technically minded like that, you know? Or practical with their hands so I probably think it's easy because my mind works that way you know my mind is technically minded if that makes any sense you know I can understand how these work and fix them but I don't understand maths I'll freely admit that I don't I don't understand algebra or anything like that. Basic math, you know, subtraction, multiplications, div um, divisions, etc. I can do basic math, but 
when it gets into things like algebra and whatnot, I just don't understand it. Because my mind doesn't work that way. You see where I'm going? And other people's minds aren't technically minded, you know, they're not technically savvy like others. It doesn't mean any of us are stupid, it just means, you know, that's not our speciality. Maths is not my speciality, but fixing random objects and building with computers and building bikes is. But yet, a mathematician probably can't fix anything, but will be able to do complicated maths, and that's something I can't do. Neither of us are dumb, it just means we're, we're smart in our own field, if that makes sense. I think I'm starting to confuse myself. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I went to get a pot of screws from the um, cupboard under the sink and found that the drain for the washing machine had been leaking everywhere. So um, I fixed that though, that was an easy fix. I didn't put a Jubilee clip on, you know, a little hose clamp, whatever you want to call it. Um, on when I put the washing machine in, I just put the hose on, but it seems like uh, the pressure of the washing machine pumping out the waste water had uh, worked the drain hose loose a little bit over time, so uh, what I've done, I've put a hose clamp on it now, so it shouldn't do it again. <laughs> <clears throat> This ear has been tickly and annoying for the last couple of days. Anyway, this is going to be a short video. This is it. Or the shortest video I've done for a long while. Um, yeah, I just picked up them four items at the yard sales and that was it. I want to try and get this KVM switch because I don't really want to pay 30 quid for one if I don't have to. If I get one cheaper, I will. It'll be tricky, but I'm determined to find one cheap. I mean, it's not like I need one right now. Right. Thanks for watching, anyway, and uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.